In this video, I will show you a gaming PC build with the new RTX 4070 Ti. I will also give you my honest opinion about this GPU throughout the video, so it's really important for you to watch this whole video for you to see if it's worth the money or not, depending on your needs. And also, you will have my website in the video description as well with every component of this system where you can find your perfect PC build for your budget. You just have to click your favorite game, your budget, and then you will have a PC build for you with the estimated FPS. That being said, let's start. For the CPU, I picked the AMD Ryzen 5 7600X going for around 250 bucks. With this CPU, you will be able to swap new generations of Ryzen CPUs coming in the next couple years, so this system is upgradable down the line as well. And at the end of the video, I will also show you a new gaming Preble PC in case you are looking for Preble PCs instead of PC builds with the RTX 4070 Ti as well. For the CPU cooler, I picked the Deepcool AK400 Zero Dark Plus. Now, this is a really nice looking cooler for 48 bucks and it's going to get the job done for the Ryzen 5 7600X so it's all good. For the motherboard, I picked the ASRock B650M PG Riptide Micro ATX motherboard. This is of course the latest AM5 platform. Now I have to admit, this is not the flashiest motherboard, so I will leave an alternative that is way better for future upgrade abilities in case you're willing to spend around 80 extra bucks or so. For the memory kit, I picked the Kingston Fari Beast 16GB of RAM 2x8 of DDR5 at 5600 MHz CL40 memory, which is totally fine for gaming, I wouldn't go any lower than 5600 megahertz. Then for the storage, I picked the P41 Plus 1TB of Gen 4 SSD going for $70. Actually, the price is not terrible considering that this is Gen 4 SSD and it's going to help you not only for gaming but also for content creation. If you're just a gamer, you can get away with a Gen 3 SSD and save around $15. For the graphics card, the most important part of a gaming system is of course the RTX 4070 Ti going for around 810 bucks on Newegg and I will also leave an Amazon link for this particular graphics card for you to compare prices when you watch this video. By the way, these graphics cards change the price basically every single day so I highly recommend you checking the links for every single component for you to see the latest prices in case you find it on a discount. Now my honest opinion about the RTX 4070 Ti is that the GPU itself is great the price is really bad for a GPU like this. It shouldn't be $800, I think it should be around 600 bucks. But with that being said, I actually think that it's not the worst value on the whole market considering the 7900 XT going for an extra 100 bucks and giving you only around 6% of extra performance. Really similar ray tracing performance, which is surprising to me but you're spending 100 extra bucks for basically no extra performance and if you're a content creator, this NVIDIA GPU is a no-brainer. Now, the other GPUs, the RTX 3080 is more expensive, the RTX 3090 and 3090 Ti are more expensive as well. Every single GPU is more expensive or out of stock, so if you want to play at 1440p high FPS and you want to save money, go with the RX 6800 where you will be saving around $300, so the total price on this system will be around $1400 instead of $1700 this one, but honestly, after the 6800, I think this one is the best value on the market, even though I don't think it has a good price, if you compare it with other GPUs, it's not the worst out there. Now, if you can find something like the 6800 XT for around 500 bucks, then of course that one is going to be a much better choice in terms of price to performance once again especially if you're going for 1440p high fps but if you're going for 4k gaming i think the 4070 ti is going to make much more sense so overall good gpu bad price but compared to other gpus is not actually a terrible value for the case i picked the nzxt h5 flow atx mid tower case now i have to say that there are actually better price to performance gpus out there especially if you like rgb with pre-installed fans i will leave those alternatives in the video description but this build is fully black and i think that this case provides good airflow and it's actually really good looking for the all black build i added two extra fans for the front that way you get even better temperatures then for the power supply i picked the nr max revolution df 850 watt 80 plus gold power supply this is 80 rated so really good quality and honestly you can save around 15 dollars if you decide to go with 750 watts instead of 850 that is totally fine but just for a $15 difference, I think the Enermax Revolution is going to make sense. 
Now the Preble PC with the RTX 4070 Ti is the AVS Stratos gaming desktop from Amazon. Actually it's not a terrible value and let me explain why. The price is $2000 and you get the Ryzen 7 7700X instead of the 7600X that I have on the PC build that I recommend you buying. So if you put the 7700X and the 240 all in one be cooler on a PC build, it's actually going to be around 1850 bucks. So just for an extra $150, you're getting a pro build system with really good components, good airflow as well. And pro build PCs at this price point usually have the RTX 3080, which is of course not as good as the RTX 4070 Ti. And by the way, you get also DDR5 on this system. So I actually think it's one of the best pro build PCs in terms of price to performance that you can get right now for a high-end budget so if you want an all-around system for streaming gaming and content creation even though if you want also content creation i would actually recommend you upgrading to at least 32 gigs of ram i think this system for two thousand dollars is a really good option especially if you really don't want to build it yourself of course my recommendation is for you to build it yourself since it's going to be cheaper and the same or better performance if you found this video helpful leave a like and subscribe but most importantly hit that bell button so you get notified when i upload this type of content and let me know in the comment section if you have any questions about this system or just systems in general for your budget and needs but like i said at the beginning with my website you should be able to answer all your questions when it comes to pc builds thank you guys for watching thank you for the support and i will see you on the next one